But first, one of them is a rock superstar, the other a painter with a small following. 60 years ago, they came to blows over a girl in the school playground. The result for David Bowie was a pair of famously mismatched eyes, but he has remained firm friends with his attacker, George Underwood, who is now enjoying some success himself in the London art world, as Malcolm Shaw reports. His image may have changed many times, but there's one thing about David Bowie that's always the same, his distinctive eyes, different colours and different sized pupils. So how did it happen? Well, the artist George Underwood from Arkfield in Sussex admits he had a hand in it. David and George were school friends, but fell out over a girl they both took a shine to. I'm not a sort of guy that goes around hitting people in the eye, I promise you, all the time. It's not my style, really. But I was so uh, aggrieved, I, I went, uh, just walked over to him, basically, and turned him around and just went whack, you know, without even thinking. But fortunately, David Bowie didn't hold a grudge. He and George played together in several bands, and when he embarked on his solo career, he employed George to do the artwork on some of his album covers. Everything hunky-dory after all. As time went by and people became more intrigued with it, he said to me, actually, you did me a favour, George, you know, so I, I don't feel so bad about it now. George became the artist of choice for psychedelic legends like Mark Bolan of T-Rex. Eventually, George left the rock scene to concentrate on his own painting. A major exhibition of his work opens at the Cork Street Gallery in London on Monday. The figures strange yet oddly intimate. I tried to get a... Um, feeling that these people have been here before. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, in some other dimension, maybe, I don't know. David Bowie describes his old friend's paintings as sublime. Clearly, he has an eye for art, and George Underwood to thank for that. Malcolm Shaw, London Tonight. I'm joined now by Robin to talk about the weather. What can